Hello everyone. In this class, we'll learn how to calculate the last two digits or how to find the last two digits of power expressions of the form of a to the power b. Now, these last two digits are extremely helpful for questions like uh, remainder when divided by 100 or 25 or 50 or else if a question comes directly to find the last two digits. Now, there is a very simple technique which can be used in CAT to reduce the time drastically. Now to solve such questions, we'll first divide the problem into two categories. Now it's either even number or an odd number. Now we have extremely simple methods to calculate the last two digits for both these categories. Now even numbers are numbers ending with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. Odd numbers we don't need 0 because powers of 0 will always end in zeros only. Even numbers would be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. 5, the last two digit of any power of 5 will always be 25. For the remaining, we have methods. Now first, we'll look at odd. Now for odd, we need to calculate the last two digits for numbers ending with 1, 3, 7 and 9 because as we know for 5 the last two digits will always be 25. Now let's consider 1 for all numbers ending with 1. Suppose we have to calculate 31 to the power 67 the last two digits of 31 to the power 67. Now this could take a long time if you go by conventional methods. We have a very simple technique for all numbers ending with 1, the last digit will always be 1. Now we need to calculate the second last digit. The second last digit can simply, we can simply find the second last digit by multiplying these two numbers. It's 27 into 3 which is 21. So 1. So 11 is the last two digits of 31 to the power 67. Now let's take some other examples. Now example number 2, if we have to calculate 41 to the power 23, again the last digit will be 1, the second last digit will be 4 into 3, 12, that means 2, so the last two digits is 21. So this is how we can calculate the last two digit easily. In case, we have, since we have to calculate the last two digits, only the last two digits of the numbers, they matter. In case the number is 141 or 2141, it doesn't matter. In every case, the last two digit will be 21 because only the last two digit will matter in finding the last two digits of the final expression. Now let's take another example, 71 to the power 77. So it won't take more than a, more than five seconds. Last digit is one and 7 into 7, 49, so 91. And be it 171, 3171, anything, the last two digits will be 91. Now, after knowing this, let's move on to other odd numbers ending with 3, 7 and 9. Now, if you know the power cycle of 3, 7 and 9, the power cycle of 3 will end in 3, 3 square 9, 7 and 1. So we know that 3 to the power 4k will end in 1. 7, if you, the power cycle of 7 will be 7, 9, 3, 1. So again 7 to the power 4k, the last digit will be 1. For 9, 9 and 1. So 9 to the power 2k, the last digit will be 1. So now using this, using this, we will find the last two digits of any number ending with either 3, 7 or 9. For example, if a number is 37 to the power 64, we have to calculate the last two digits of 37 to the power 64. This we can write as 37 to the power 4 to the power 16. Now this will end in 1. We know the method to calculate the last two digit of any number ending with 1. So if you can find the last two digit of 37 to the power 4, it becomes a very basic question. How to calculate 37 to the power 4? There is 
no such formula to calculate 37 to the power 4. So if you know the squares of all the numbers till 100, it's good enough. But in case you don't, then you can write this, this as 37 square into 37 square, this to the power of 16. Now to find the last two digit of any number, of any, the last two digit of a square, it is, if you know 37 square, it will end in 69. So 69 to the power 16, it will be uh, 69 into, uh, excuse me, sorry. This will be 69 into 69. Since we have to calculate the last two digit, only the last two digits will matter. So 69 into 69, again 69 ka square, it will be six, the last two digit will be 61. So 61 to the power 16 is 6, 6 is 36 and 1. The last two digits is 61. Now I'll tell you how we get, uh, pe card dena yaar. Now if we have to calculate 37 to the power 64, we can rewrite this as 37 to the power 4 to the power 16. Now we know that 37 to the power 4 will end with 1 and we have a very basic formula or a basic technique to find the last two digits of any number ending with 1. So we can write this as 37 square into 37 square to the power 16. To calculate the last two digit of any number, we need to know the last two digits itself. So the last two digit of 37 square, if you know all the last all the squares till 100, it's good enough. Even if you don't, uh, okay, let's see how you, okay, we'll get back to this. But first, let's see how you calculate the last two digits of a square. The last two digit of any number x will be same for 50 minus x for 50 plus x, for 100 minus x, and 100 plus x. For example, if x is say 11, so 11 square, the last two digit of 11 square will be equal to the last two digit of 50 minus 11 square, that is 39 square, will be equal to the last two digit of 61 square, will be equal to the last two digit of 89 square, will be equal to the last two digit of 111 square. So in case you have to find the last two digit of 37 square, you know, 37 square ka last two digit will be equal to the square of 13. If x is 30, this will be 37. So the last two digit of 13 is 13 square 169, so 69. Similarly, if suppose it's instead of 30, uh, 7, it's 89. So the last two digit of 89 square will be 11 ka square, which is 21. So now, in the last question, we were calculating 37 to the power of 64 ka last two digit. So this we reduce to 37 to the power 4 to the power 16. This we wrote as 37 square into 37 square to power 16. This we can write as 13 square ka last two digit which is 69. 69. What is the uh, 16 ka, this is 69 ka square. So 69 square will be equal to 19 square. So last two digit will be equal to 19 square. That is 361. So 61 to the power 16. Now it is the basic question. The last digit will be 1. Second last digit will be 6 into 6, 36, which is 6. So the last two digit of 37 to the power 64 is 61. So as simple, suppose now let's take another example. 33 to the power 128. So this you can simply reduce it like 33 to the power 4 to the power of 32. This you can write 33 square into 33 square to the power 32. 33 square is last two digit of 17 square that is 89 into 89 to the power 32. 89 square is last two digit of 12, uh, 11 square that is 21 to the power 32. So the last two digit is 1 and 2 to the 4. So the last two digit is 41. So now easily you can calculate the last two digit of any odd number. Instead of going by the conventional, maybe binomial theorems or the conventional methods, this is an extremely simple method which will take not more than 15 to 20 seconds to solve. Now let's move on to even numbers.
Now, even numbers, there is a formula 2 raised to the power 10 to the power of even number, the last two digit will be 76, and 2 raised to the power 10 to the power odd number, the last two digit will be 24. Now, using this, you can calculate the last two digit of any even number. Suppose you have to find the last two digit of 2 to the power 246. This you can write as 2 to the power 10 to the power 24 into 2 to the power 6. 2 to the power 10 to the power 24 is an even number. Last two digit is 76. 2 to the power 6, last two digit 64. In fact, 2 to the power 6 is 64. 76 into 64 is the last two digit is 64. Now, there is a sequence identified which will help you 76 into 16 the last two digit is 16 into 32 the last two digit is 32 into 64 last two digit is 64 into 28 last two digit is 28 into 56 the last two digit is 56 into 12 the last two digit is 12 24 the last two digit is 24 and into 04 the last two digit is 04 so since these are the only numbers we are dealing with because the other thing will be a fact power of 2 so exactly the same number you'll get as the uh, the last two digit so using this you can find the last two digit of any number any even number with a 2 to the power 10 to the power even is known the last two digit will of 2 to the power 10 to the power even is 76 whereas 2 to the power 10 to the power odd is 24 Suppose for example, if then you have to find the last two digit of 2 to the power 87, so you can write it as 2 to the power 10 to the power 8 into 2 to the power 7. This again is 76 and 2 to the power 7 is 128, last two digit is 28, this will give 28. So easily you can calculate the last two digit. For now, for any number given, you can break them into a power of two and maybe a odd number ka power something. And then you can find the last two digit using these simple techniques. Uh, this is how you can easily find the last two digits. So keep watching collegepedia.in for more lectures. Thank you.